What happens when you give a camera and a microphone to a donkey? They become kick streamers. They go around, they do degenerate stuff, and they will get away with anything and every illegal thing possible that you could think of. And what happens to that donkey with a microphone and a camera who gets banned from kick? Imagine a platform that allows you to do anything bans you. That is the lowest of the lowest. And when that happens to you, you know what they call you? You became a Johnny Somali. Johnny Somali threatens to sue the hypocrite PewDiePie for saying he ruined Japan. So PewDiePie three days ago made a video about YouTubers are ruining Japan and guess who showed up in his video? The donkey with the camera and the microphone. The last guy you, everyone's oh talked God. about this oh. idiot. We'll just blur him and not talk about him, but it's still worth seeing the footage because he's such a idiot. He's All you need to know is he's a, he's a kick streamer. I should tell you everything. That's everything you need to know. <laughs> I am a sociopath! It's like bothering people on the subway. And then... What? This Asian looking guy shows up. Where, 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 you know where I'm from? Where are you from? I'm from, uh, America. You're from America? Yes. So am I. You're from America? Yeah, you're being obnoxious. You know what we do to you? What do you do? We will do again. Do what? For those of you who are not aware of Johnny Somali's road to success, his journey to become the top streamer in the world, last year he decided to go to Japan and he decided to do what prankster slice streamers on Kick do best harass people he went on a metro started dropping about the situation that happened in japan where you know it went all kaboom in the air i'll keep it very short he started confronting people he started disrespecting the culture disrespecting japan and people were not happy with it people confronted him hundreds and hundreds of documentary youtubers they talked about talked about him as well he even got confronted by a lot of uh, japanese youtubers and a lot of like s citizens over there who confronted them and he became the biggest bitch in the world he was like i am sorry guys it was all a joke it was a prank bro it was a prank and at the end he ended up being arrested going to court paying a very small fine for some reason but he got kicked out of the country but even after his mistakes a normal person would reflect on them will sit down realize what he did wrong and he's gonna go forward being a better person a better streamer a better content creator admits who are wrong but he was so in delusion of the views he was getting on twitter of the amount of people talking about him and he did not care if it was good or bad even though millions and millions of people watch other people talk about him and shit on him and no one watches his channel in his head he's like game is game good bad it doesn't matter i'm going to keep on doing what i'm doing because with this fame one day i will be successful even though i'm going to do be doing this for the next 10 years and all of that all my comment section will be filled with hate but hey maybe there are people like me out in the world and who are going to enjoy my content and what happens to the person who's addicted to the cloud, who is addicted to people shit talking and shitting in his mouth? When he sees a person with 111 million subscribers talk about him, is this his opportunity? He stood up, went in front of the mirror, looked himself in the eye, and he was like, This is my big break. PewDiePie talked about me, and I'm going to get popular if I start a new beef because internet drama gets views. He posted on his Twitter where he said, He ain't my OG. The new generation will run this shit, but he needs to shut the fuck up and retire. What he was referring to, you know, because PewDiePie has been in this game for too long, he has, he's a dad now, and he's like, You're too old. It's your time is over. It is my time now. It is our time's generation because apparently he considers himself as one of the top streamers in the world right now because millions of people shit in his mouth. He also goes on and says racists against black and anti-Semit. Now this specific sentence, I have no doubt since he's been spending a lot of time in Israel. He learned from the best of using the racist card, the anti-Semitic uh, card playing the victim but why did he use the racism card because of in 2017 of the pewdiepie bridge incident if you are aware he says this hypocrite has no room to even discuss me especially with the misinformation and lies i mean mr johnny you were very specific on what you were telling the guys of the metro and what you were you know the way you were harassing and the with the words you were using against the the japanese people out there you know you're we're gonna do again now before we continue with this donkey you know who's a better and a cuter animal cats so by each subscription i get on this channel you click subscribe right now i'm gonna go in the channel analytics and i will be feeding a homeless cat so make sure to drop a like drop a sub because there are cats hungry waiting
Yeah, I'm gonna defeat them anyway, either way. But subscribe and like. He went on and he said, very sad that PewDiePie has 11, 111 million subscribers, a significant percentage of 8 billion human population of Earth, has access to unlimited funds, and his only content is reacting to watching johnny somali he's acting like what are you talking about me you're this big uh, youtuber w why even mention me not like you know the second he mentioned them he was jumping up and down and he was like this is my big break i'm so happy he's talking about me he said he called me the t-word very interesting use of language that could be racially motivated definitely defamatory and consider consider slander and libel he remarked see you in court felix now in his head he was like if i create this drama PewDiePie is going to do a response video to me because, you know, I'm a popular uh, streamer. He's a popular YouTuber. And then we're going to go head on head with this thing, with this internet beef. Little did he know PewDiePie did not even want to talk about him. And he will not talk about him in the future as well. He was just a one minute of a lifetime that he just existed in PewDiePie's life. He even made this video with Johnny Somali addressing PewDiePie and Hassan Albi beef. Good evening, I'm Johnny Somali, and today we need to set the record straight. Recently some prominent figures, influencers, I hate that fucking word, Hassan Piker and PewDiePie, have decided to publicly criticize my actions in Japan. It's time we have an honest conversation. I'm not going to waste your time with this video, if you literally go look at the wall, face the wall for 7 minutes, that time will be more valuable than watching this 7 minute video of his i didn't even finish this video basically he thinks he's the main character and this was his first response video and he sat there with his cigar and his i don't know alcohol sitting there and waiting is be like okay i made my first response video now it's their turn after two days of no one responding to him he decided to spice things up in his twitter hoping it will blow up but nothing ever blows up in his twitter only when people shit talk him he reposted people shit talking him in this situation now. If you look at the dictionary under douchebag, Johnny is the biggest picture under the world. As a person who lived in Japan for 13 years, this is a very big problem. It's making all foreigners, content creators look bad when one person does what the things he did. If only you could sue based on something being offended. Oh wait, you can't. This haiwan is a joke. Now, I don't understand why he's posting people shit talking him. It's either he wants to get views off of it, you know, because shit talking him works. Or he just wants to show that his feelings are not hurt and he is... He is stronger than you think you, you you think he is. And when it comes to his lawsuit that he said, we still don't know. Probably he's not even going to go through with it. Even if he does, the judge is going to laugh at his face the second he steps foot in the court. When it comes to the internet, PewDiePie is untouchable. He made his mistake in 2017. Every creator makes a mistake. I'm still waiting for mine. Literally, every creator, once they go through their career, they will make a mistake or two, but they will learn from it and they will become better. The person like uh, this haiwan, this donkey, who they don't and they keep on doing it, there is no future for them. He really tried his best to make off of this reaction, but I bet even if he showed his lawyer and told the possibilities, it was a 101% chance of him losing. Now, he's a degenerate donkey and there's no chance for him to recover after this after all the things he has done and he looks like he doesn't want to learn from it so there is no chance for him he already got like fifth or sixth or seven 20 chances and do i think he should stop doing what he's doing and start becoming a better person create content and be successful absolutely fucking not i want him to stay the way he is visit different countries get cancelled, get viral clips out of those for people shit-talking him so I can talk about them shit-talking him so I can monetize him. Content, guys, if he's not going to change, so might as well use take advantage of the situation and make content out of him. I will gladly shit in his mouth and make money off of it. It's usually the other way around, but you know what I mean. Well, anyways, I just wanted to talk about this new situation. If you're new in this channel, this is your first time, and if you're looking to watch a video while eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, I make daily videos once or twice a day. So if, if you enjoyed this, subscribe or go watch one or two more videos until you make your decision. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one.